on YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Aubameyang poster using Photoshop 2020 and using some different techniques that I haven't used in other videos. So we're going to be uh, using layers, we're going to be using uh, textures, we're going to be using um, filters and all sorts of different things for you to learn. So if you are going to watch this video, please leave a like, comment and let me know what you thought of the video and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your background. So what you want to do is get your image and then you go to filter and then you go to render and then you're going to go clouds. So you get clouds like this. Okay. And then by doing this, you're going to um, use liquify and then using liquify, you can sort of manipulate it a bit more and then you just got to do this with the design. So once you've done all this, all you need to do is just make the brush really big and you can just pull it around like so. And that looks really good. And there we go. Just pull it off the page like that. And then once you've got it so it's small, you can just do that. So that's your background. Next thing you're gonna do is add a solid color. So what we want for this is something yellow, probably a nice yellow, like so. And then you're just gonna overlay that over the top. And there you go, that's your background. The next thing you're gonna do is add a rectangle over the middle. So you wanna get rid of the stroke and then just change this to red. Got a red color and just going to want to pull this out into the middle it can be as big as you want it to be it doesn't matter too much like so put it center in the design there we go that's that and then what you're going to do is get some brushes which are uh, rip paper brushes which you're going to use and you're just going to cut the edges off this rectangle so right so once you've got your rectangle you want to just lay a mask out and then you're going to select your torn brushes that we used in the last video and then you're just going to sort of cut away at the uh, the bits of the square we just put in and then you're good to go so now we've got that we're going to drop our image in the uh, the abamming image in right so we have the abamming image in we're just going to put in place him in the middle of the design like so and that's that all done and now what we want to do is probably uh, just make sure he's got a bit of a drop shadow behind him so if we just double click on him and then go drop shadow that's nice so next thing we're going to do is add a shadow below his feet so if you create a new layer get a brush uh, get a soft brush and then you're going to want to go to your brush options and just make it really small uh, Really thin sorry and just so you can put it under his foot like so you want it black obviously something like that That looks good. So now it looks like he's not floating. He's actually just stepping on something So the next thing we're going to do is probably have the text in the background. So this is going to be um, using impact font I think um, and we're just going to do number 14, which is his number. So we've got number 14 and we're just going to make this white and then we're just going to make it quite big and then we're going to enlarge it so it's behind the Aubameyang. It's got to be quite big though, just so you can actually see it. So we've got the number 14 behind and we're just going to type Alba, like so. Make sure you use a capital A or you can actually do it all in capitals. And then we can enlarge them if you want to, just to put them behind the uh, image. Now what we're going to do is uh, clipping mask them to this design and we're just going to double click on them and add a drop shadow like so. Now once that's done, what you're going to do next is probably add some texture over the top of this red sheet. Right, so as you can see, I've added the texture so it looks a bit more realistic now. Um, I just added these two images here. These will be left in the files description for you to download. So all you need to do is overlay them over the top. Make sure you um, clip and mask it to the red design and it will just look great. So that's that done. Next thing we're going to do is add a layer underneath the red background. Just going to get a paint a brush tool, soft one, and just change it to white. And then we're just going to go around the outside of this red layer. And we're just going to sort of paint a glow. And then we're going to change that to screen. Just going to keep that there, ready for the... Um, ready for when we use camera or filter to make it look good. So the next thing we're going to do is probably add some texture over the background. So this is going to be adding some lines and some texture. Right, so the next technique we're going to use is a, um, a lines tool. So I'm just going to get a rectangle, pull them out like that and change them to black. Now I'm going to alt and get three of these. Make sure they are all together. I'm just going to extend the length of them and now having them all grouped together I'm just going to go to uh, convert them to a smart object then I'm going to go to filter uh, render actually no I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to try and find waves there it is wave on distort and then what we're going to do is make them quite like so so if you number of generators you increase 
and then you increase the wavelength and you can get quite a nice effect like so like that and we're going to just put this behind the red i'm going to overlay it into the background and then reduce the opacity all right guys just a quick update i've seen that a lot of you aren't subscribed to or watching the video so i'm just going to put a little thing on the screen now which will show you the percentage i'm not making you subscribe but if you are enjoying the videos then it would really really help me out if you could subscribe and just show a bit of love to the channel because i'm trying to reach that thousand mark so i can start uh, improving my videos for you guys and start um uh, start being able to create more videos and helping you out more so if you are watching this and you aren't subscribed just take a bit of time out of your day and just subscribe and it just gives me that extra push you know to, to make more videos for you guys thank you for watching enjoy the video now this is looking quite good now now the next thing we've got to do is add the black lines that come down here uh, by his feet. So right, well, I'm just gonna write a Bamiyang now. Now you want this quite small and you're gonna want it in black. Doing that, you just wanna make sure it's in black and then what you're gonna do is make it smaller. So you want it really small. Then what we're gonna do is just duplicate this layer. So we're just gonna go across and then we're just gonna do that and that. And then what we're gonna do is group that together then we're going to command J, command T, and we're just going to add it along like that. And then we're going to group these both together. And then we're just going to command T now. And we're just going to move them down. And then we're going to overlay them into the design like so. That looks pretty good to me. Reduce the opacity a bit just so they don't stand out too much. And the next thing we're going to do is add some paint texture over the sides. So this is going to add some texture like so, like this. You want this on the sides just so it looks good. So what I'm going to do is get a paintbrush tool and I'm just going to create a new layer. Uh, probably I'll put it at the top for now because it's just going to go over the top. And I'm going to find a paintbrush tool that I think looks good. And then I'm going to just start painting across like so. Now you want to just do it like this first because then afterwards you can um, just sort of change how the paint looks. So you're just going to go back and take away bits of it as you'll see now. So if I layer mask this and then I change my brush size, I can sort of just cut away bits if you can see what I mean. So let's just increase the size of this a bit more and increase the rotation and then you just cut away bits. And now by doing that, create quite a nice texture on the edge of the design, like so. Now you can go back and add bits in if you, if you feel you need to, but obviously you're gonna need to make sure that you can see it. All right, so obviously you can go back in and add bits that you've cut out just to make sure it looks good like so, like I'm doing now, just to increase the size of it a little bit like that. So that looks good. The next thing we're gonna do is probably, you can change the effects that it has on the page. Uh, if you think it looks good like that, you can just leave it as well. So I'm gonna change it to pin like, so I think that looks best. So the next thing we're gonna do is probably add the overall texture and I think we should be done. So what we're gonna do is get some textures from the old design. So it's gonna be 10 and this one, and then we're gonna drop it over the top. So if I drag and drop these, and just drop them over the top like so. Now you can see it looks like it should do. So it's got the texture. The only thing we haven't got is the crosses. So um, if you just give me a second, I will make the crosses um, like so. So I've made the crosses, got them on the design here. So let me just Command T them. And then I'm just gonna put them up here just so we can break up the design a little bit. Then we just turn the textures on. Now that looks really good. It looks pretty much how it should have looked in the old one. So what we're gonna do now is probably make sure that um, we have all the textures in so they look good and make sure that the uh, the design looks good too. It all looks good to me. I'm just gonna put a just gonna put a white spot behind a Bamiyang just so he stands out a bit more. If I just change that to screen. And now what we're gonna do is add a camera raw filter. So we're gonna select all of this and group it all together. So once we've grouped it all together, we need to go to Command J and then Command E. And then we're just gonna select the whole thing, layer via cut, so it's cut out from the background. And then all we need to do is delete that and select this and then go to Filter, Camera or Filter. And now I'm just gonna make it look how it did before. Alright guys, and that is it for this video. So I've made the uh, design. I've shown you how to make each bit of it. So if you have any troubles with it, let me know in the comments below. I've tried to be quick as possible with this for you guys so you don't have to watch for too long. Um, if you do find anything, any problems or anything with the design, let me know and I'll help you out in the comments. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.